cycle in nature. This covers the circulation of carbon from carbon dioxide in the atmosphere into plants by photosynthesis, its transfer by feeding to animals, some preserved while most passes back to the atmosphere by respiration and combustion. This diagram shows a simple carbon cycle. This shows the circulation of carbon between the living and non-living world. The only way carbon enters the living world is from carbon dioxide in the air into plants by photosynthesis. If we microscopically examine a leaf, we see it contains cells rich in chloroplasts near the surface. Chloroplasts using light from the sun for energy combine the carbon dioxide with water to make sugar. Photosynthesis is a manufacture of sugar by the combination of carbon dioxide and water in the chlorophyll, using the energy from sunlight and with the release of oxygen. Sugar in the plants combine to form carbohydrates and fats, and they also combine with nitrates to form proteins. When the plant is eaten by herbivores, such as a deer, it is digested in the alimentary canal. The carbon from the carbon dioxide taken into the plant has been made into carbohydrates, proteins and fats in the deer's tissues. The large dog now eats and digests a deer with a repeat of the processes when the deer ate the plant. On the death of the deer, all the decomposers, such as microorganisms, worms and flies, decompose the corpse. Carbon dioxide returns to the air due to all the organisms respiring. Fuels such as coal and oil were formed from the partial decomposition of plants and animals in prehistoric times. People are now burning these at such an alarming rate that the carbon dioxide content of the air is increasing and contributing to global warming.